Well, I know you're going to enjoy it. Please welcome Francois Gordon. I always make such smooth entrances. I love myself. Um, just so you know, because you're probably wondering, what the fuck is she doing with that thing? Because I obviously don't need it. But, um, I was involved in a game of chicken with a Hugo a couple of years ago. And truth be told, the Hugo won. <laughs> fucking Hugo. And just my luck, it was the last fucking Hugo on the streets. And it nails me. Like, that sucked. That was hilarious, though. <laughs> But, yeah, so maybe I do have this skin, but at least I'm hot. <laughs> and I give a great head. <laughs> I mean, it's great to have some things going for you. But while I'm on the topic of heads of things, you know who I hate who's running for head of the United States? Hillary Clinton. I, I know I'm going to offend somebody here, and... Happy to do so. But, like, because of her, like, all women now think that their opinions are actually fucking relevant. Like, are you insane? Like, someone like some dumbass like Rachel Ray will actually think people give a shit about her tuna casserole. Like, get over it. But now I know we just had the Masters and yay Trevor and woman I, I he won I that's about as much as I know about that but um <laughs> right before the Masters was March Madness college basketball how excited were we for that I mean our office was so stoked about that don't you agree guys yeah. Yeah. I was actually speaking in my office, but if everyone wants to chime in, go for it. <laughs> um, everyone was filling out brackets, getting super excited, and there was so much hubbub. You know, I heard a statistic. One to two billion dollars worth of productivity is lost during March Madness. <laughs> like, that's funny but true. Um, but where was I? Uh, yeah, but everyone's so excited. So I decided to introduce my own sort of pool. And everyone jumped on the bandwagon with that one. They loved it. I coined it the Patrick Swayze Bucket Pool. Uh, I am, yeah, I know. Dude. I am by far the sickest bitch in our office. <laughs> And of course, by bucket, I mean when back to his yell, kick it up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I actually had a good coworker say to me, Francois, my father died from cancer because he's dying of pancreatic cancer now, in case you don't know. But, and I said, Lena, I am so sorry. We actually do have some dates about <laughs> Again, sick bitch am I. Yeah. And it is beautiful. Um, and, you know, I like to freak my parents out because they don't live here in New York. They live back in Baltimore where I'm from. And so my dad called me on the cell phone just yesterday, actually. And I said, okay, can't talk to you now, Dad. I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, see, you all laugh before you even know the point of it. <laughs> Thanks for assuming that. Like, I appreciate that. Not very much, but. So, here I explain. It'd be fun 
mine because I can't drive and I don't drive and he knows I can't drive. So, freaks out father, mission accomplished. <laughs> and thanks for clapping ahead of time. I really appreciate it. You all are like some of the best fans I've ever had. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm, that's my time, I think. Thank, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday.